So if you do want to ask questions when we're here, just raise your hand. I've got an answer already. <laughs> A genie once offered uh, Robbie uh, the choice of a, a, a really long memory or a really long willy. He forgets what he said. <laughs> I'm going to write that down so that I can get it. <laughs> we'll be here all week, ladies and gentlemen. This is for Danny. Have you ever kept a Benny cat? Have you ever kept any cats closed? What the fuck? I'm, I'm, <laughs> you have to repeat it for Norman. Norman, Norman, 66. <laughs> what was that? Have you ever kept any of the cats closed? Any of them? Uh, or all of them? <laughs> <laughs> Actually, no, I haven't. You know, believe it or not. I've, I, I've kept the original suit that I wore to the audition because it was mine anyway. <laughs> That's it, really. I've got the most original cat suit. So all the rest are just, you know, mere impersonations. I do want to point out, though, that Danny does drive around on a pink motorcycle wearing pink leathers. <laughs> I would just like to say that me and Bobby have been carrying this guy around for the last two years. <laughs> on our shoulders. I thought I'd get that in before you lied to me. <laughs> yeah? I was Bobby, he was in Australia. It was like this all day and night. <laughs> Chris is at an operation, he can't talk. <laughs> when, I first met... <laughs> when I first met Danny, he had this jeep. And the registration number was DJJA1. <laughs> that says a lot about us. <laughs> Bloody awful, I didn't know the toaster at all. <laughs> 
what happened, we'll date it. Um, Craig and I were out flying to America, and the captain was a fan of Red Dwarf, and he invited us up to the cockpit. And Craig sat in the captain's seat oh. doing steering. <laughs> and it had an autopilot. <laughs> and, and, and I said to the captain, I, I just want to explain to you that the definition of a prop that works on Red Dwarf is something Craig hasn't touched. And he went, oh, and then Craig looked above him and there was a big switch under oh. a couple of chairs. Went, what does that one do? That was the autopilot. <laughs> <laughs> Don't touch that one, Craig. <laughs> To a cockpit of an airplane, now I'd just I'd, I'd be putting it because yeah. we had a new set, brand new, wasn't it? The, the blue midget. First day, we haven't even shot a scene yet. So he comes in, he sits in, cries, good, this is it. <laughs> <laughs> you can imagine the, the pilot. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> now there's a guy called Peter Wright. He used to make all these really complicated weapons, like bits of ethics and things like that. Oh, that's good. Oh. He was a nice man. Yeah, sadly yeah. missing. From the from the school of Thunderbirds. Oh, Peter Rabbit. Yeah, yeah. Thunderbirds. Yeah. And uh, it, 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 that is from the acting school of Thunderbirds. <laughs> <laughs> All strings in the <laughs> And very, very wonderful. <laughs> I'll, I'll tell you what is wonderful. I've once seen that Santander advert with um, um, Rory. Golf and all of that. Oh, oh now that is that's good. good. <laughs> 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 we're we're in that we're in that we're the bum. <laughs> and uh, what's the name? Uh, you know where? I don't know. Was it? Just go ahead. Just go ahead. Have you seen? Is that wooden or is it me? Yeah. Oh, Maybe he's in the shower going. If you want to get to. <laughs> 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 Sorry, we're talking about Red Dwarf. Yeah. <laughs> After all the surgeries that you've done, which one did you enjoy doing the most important the most? That is a Chris Barry question. Yeah, Chris, come on. Mm. I've been trying to get through a whole Q&A without speaking. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, 
laugh because mine just got bored and all. It's stopped. It's stopped. Everybody's dead though. I always We're like dog's milk. I love that. Dog's milk. Yeah. <laughs> I, I always like, she'll never leave Fred and we know it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I've got the easiest one of all. Fish! <laughs> <laughs> My favourite pack one is dog ass. <laughs> <laughs> what is it? It's <laughs> <laughs> a serious plan. My favourite is, um, no, we just hosed him down and gave him a <laughs> I was DJing. 
BJ and Leighton. Right. 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 So I'd like to thank him for doing all the straight lines, setting up all my jokes for the first and second series. You did a trip. really great job. I was right. your stooge. You did a good job. Well done. Cheers, mate. I was your stooge. <laughs>
So what is it? <laughs> Julian Clary nearly sued him. <laughs> I wanted Crichton to have a baby crush. That's one thing I remember. A little bubble Crichton like that. There was also another idea about... We, we, we want to do a thing called Crichton's Dream, yeah. where Crichton's the only human, and, and me and Chris and, and, and uh, me and Kat and Rimmer are all robots. And I thought that'd be quite a good one. Because we tried uh, Crichton's yeah. Works yeah. song, yeah. and it's weird, they make you look... You don't look like Crichton, you look, you look different, he looked different, he paints it black. <laughs> Elvis on the Moon as well. Elvis on the Moon. Um, You're right, Martin. You're going to go. Right, any new series? Don't use the mic! Forget the mic. Any new series? There's no misquotes in space called directives. Are you going to bring that back in the next one? Oh, oh, oh. Tell God. What unhappy customer! I think in future series, some of the old ideas might be, you know, the ideas from previous series might be revisited. Revisited. Sorry? Maybe you got one right. Maybe you got one right. Maybe you got one right. We're not bringing the look virus back again. That would be horrific. We won't go that far. Okay, we'll go for another question from the ground. Just shout. Do you have free fan fiction about yourself? I try not to read stories written by Doug Bloody Naylor. <laughs> I, I once received a, 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 a scan of a picture, a very well drawn picture, through via email, pre Twitter, a few years ago, of a rather explicit drawing of Crichton and Kachatsky. <laughs> <laughs> I remember a rather interesting letter that Bobby got once about <gasps> underpants and hangers. <laughs> the only way to, to give it, to, it was written, but to do it justice, I have to get near the microphone because you need to be able to hear. What do you wear? I'm in a costume. <laughs> Swedish. 
So he, was, he might have been Swedish at one we time. We tried stuff. Yeah, yeah. like Smeg. Like Smeg. So if you were Swedish, you would be speaking like this. <laughs> I would just hang up your underpants, Mr. Mr. <laughs> Because there were lots of jokes about he was very safety oriented, had side impact valves and airbags and all that stuff. <laughs> very smooth. And he was flat packed and there was loads of bits left over that we could never wake up with. <laughs> There's nothing down there except place to gun pins in the tree, Mark. <laughs> but I think it was it was meant to be Canadian, which it so isn't, as many Canadians have pointed out to me. But, but you know it's perfect where it is. Perfect. Yeah, second. Yeah. It's perfect where it is. <laughs> Okay guys, well unfortunately we're gonna to have to wrap up the QA. But uh, oh, see? No, we're about to get invaded by the How long did we just do? Right, thanks for coming, good night. <laughs>